I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it. Hey there, thanks for watching. This is Manny the Man Lopez, and this is a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. Today we're going to talk about networking, how to network, all right? Usually each week I give you guys some unique topic on marketing your business, promoting your business, either online or offline. Today I want to talk to you about one of the most efficient ways that I've found to bring in new business, and that is networking, okay? Go to networking events, expos, things like that. I'm going to share with you the kind of the things that I do to make sure I stand out and what I do to be really efficient in this type of business model because you can go out and networking events and you can waste tons of money and tons of time and get absolutely nothing or you can go to networking events and have a blast and always always produce great results now some of the things I actually had an event that we came by uh, this past weekend called the Ascent Expo and what the event did it was is a three-day event Friday Saturday and Sunday and it allowed us to uh, really just connect with other like-minded individuals, business professionals, things like that. Um, I had a booth at the event, and what I did is end up offering a free giveaway to say, hey, give me your business card, and uh, we're giving away a free thing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, if you win, we're just going to draw a card out of here, and if you win, great. And I made it specific to my industry. So when somebody says they want to win that for free, it's the actual product that I want to sell them as well. So what this does is allow me to get people that are interested in this technology or this product or this, this service, right? And then give it away for free to people say, hey, you know, if you're interested, uh, we're giving it away for free. Uh, just drop in your business card. And this way, when you follow up with that prospect after the event, if they don't win, then you say, hey, I know you didn't win. But we're offering an exclusive deal on this service if you're still interested in getting it. Um, so that's been very effective for me. Uh, one of the things you always have to do when you go to networking events is you need to plan. All right, You need to plan how the event is going to go, how the event is going to be for you, uh, what kind of connections you're expecting to make, what kind of response you're looking to get. You need to make sure you plan it out. You can't go to a networking event and expect to just get tremendous results without having a plan of action. So for me, I always plan everything out. Like this past event, I did a few things. So I got uh, flyers made uh, for you know, the giveaway that I was doing. So this way I can pass out flyers on top of my business cards because you want to have something that is not the same old just business card because if you just have your business card, then it's, uh, it's the same size as everybody else's business card. So if you have something that's a unique size, a unique shape, it's going to stand out. Like I've got a few business cards from the event that are really, really unique. Uh, we generated actually over 300 contacts from that event. People that have given us their business card, uh, were interested in what we have to offer, and wanted to learn more. So that's really cool. And um, you know, it's funny because every day, we, like Friday, we, got, uh, we did 107, I believe, 107 contacts. And, uh, and people are saying, oh, Friday was terrible, it was such a slow day, I didn't get any contacts, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, maybe you didn't network, maybe you didn't talk to nobody, but I got 107 business cards from people that said they're interested in what we're doing. I don't know how you guys didn't get much, but uh, Saturday came and it was just tremendously busy again. Um, that way we, we did about the same, uh, 100 plus contacts, and then Sunday we did the same, 100 plus contacts. So for us, it uh, was very, very efficient for, for us to do this again. Um, but I heard left and right people telling me, oh man, this is a bad turnout, or you know, I just didn't get the results I expected, you know, and they just weren't happy. And uh, it's really all in what you make it, because there was bodies there, there's plenty of people to talk to. It's just maybe people were too introverted and didn't want to say anything, or they didn't uh, have a unique product, they didn't make themselves stand out. I always stand out when I go to an event. I had like this lanyard thing that um, was all blinged out kind of thing. Uh, we had um, glow sticks that we put around our necks. Uh, what else? We had uh, balloons that we had to get taken down because uh, we kind of have helium at the LA Convention Center, I guess. But um, so we, we just try to make sure we do everything we can possible to stand out. Um, so we actually have an upcoming event. Uh, it's called the OC's Largest Mixer. And um, we're, we're actually going to be at that event. We're doing a lot of cool things. So what I've done is I sponsor the event. Um, I have uh, flyer inserts that they're going to be passing out, everybody that comes to the registration booth. We've got a big balloon I'm going to have that's going to have my logo on it. So when somebody walks in, 
to the event. Uh, they're going to see a big old balloon so they know exactly where we are. So you got to do things that make sure that your business is unique because somebody else is going to stand out. And is that going to be you or is it going to be your competitor, right? So that's my focus is, uh, is making sure you have something unique, something that's different. And you make sure that you're in front of your booth if you're presenting. If you're just going to a networking event, um, some of the tips that I would have is make sure your conversation is short, okay? Don't go and give them a two-minute spiel on what your business does. Literally, in 12 words or less, you should be able to tell them what your business does. Now, I don't promote myself via this PLS tip, so I'm not going to tell you what my 12 words are. But, um, in, you know, for, let's say, power lead system, if I'm out there promoting the power lead system, one of the things that I do is I they ask, oh, what do you do? I have a system that helps business professionals automate the marketing online. How many is that? Let's see. Uh, I have a system that helps business professionals automate their system online. Hey, let's get oh, prospecting online. 12 words, cool. I just literally made that up on the fly. But um, so that'd be something that I would say. You know, it's something that is very short and it leads into more questions. Okay, you want to leave um, a big question mark on your head to be like, what? what? What is that? What are you talking about? Right? So if you tell them everything about your business, when they ask you, what do you do? Well, there's not really much to leave for an answer or a question, right? There's going to be, oh, okay, great. That's what you do. Well, here's what I do, right? Instead of, you know, you leave something and they're like, oh, well, what is that? What are you talking about? How does that work? Da, da, da. What do you mean? So I like to get those types of, of questions and responses. One of the things that you want to do at network events as well is not make it about you at all. I was at the Ascent Expo and there was a guy from the Dale Carnegie training. Um, and he had a really unique way of approaching anybody at a networking event and I want to share it with you. So um, here's how it went. So basically what he wanted to do is first uh, imagine this. Okay. It's a big giant nameplate. Okay. Just a huge nameplate that's got their name. Okay. Then you want to imagine uh, right next to the nameplate is a dollhouse. Nice little fancy white dollhouse, right? Nice little cool looking one, right? Inside the dollhouse is a little family waving. Okay. It's a mom and dad waving. Okay. And then uh, in the dollhouse, there's a chimney. Okay. Outside the chimney, there's a, a glove, a work glove coming out of the chimney. Right. Okay. And then after the, uh, the work glove, it's actually holding, grabbing uh, a jumbo jet out of the air, holding a jumbo jet. Right. And then just stay with me here. I know it's a little confusing, but stay with me. So uh, the work glove, holding the jumbo jet. And then from the jumbo jet, uh, there's the, the engines are made of tennis rackets. And spinning, 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 spinning. Okay. And on top of that jumbo jet, there's a light bulb, just flashing, flashing light bulb. Okay. Now you got that? You picture that? All right. Let me explain what this means. Okay. You use this on every single contact that you make because first thing you want to do is you want to get their name. Hi, what's your name? Name plate, right? Then we go to the dollhouse. Okay. The dollhouse represents your home, represents your place, your, your place of business or your place of residence, right? So another thing you say, hey, what's your name? That's a great conversation piece to start off with, of course. Hi, my name is this. What's your name? Okay. And then you want to ask them questions. Great. Are you from around here? Do you live around here? Do you have your business around here? Something like that. Because if you're meeting face to face, you're at a physical location. Hey, so you are from around here, right? Okay. And then you remember that waving family? Okay. That's when you talk about family. Hey, are you married? You got a wife, got kids, or you got a husband? And you know, that kind of thing. You start talking about conversation piece like that. Okay. Then you remember that chimney, you know, with the glove coming out, the work glove. That's when you ask about work. So what do you do? Well, what kind of business are you in? Right? Okay. That's another thing you ask. Okay. Then remember that glove is holding a jumbo jet. What do you think that represents? It represents travel. Okay. Where have you traveled anywhere? Where have you been? You know, have you been any place exotic or fun, or interesting? You know, where, what's the coolest place you've been at recently? What's the awesome, most awesome thing you've done in the last five years? That kind of stuff. Right? And then uh, remember those tennis rackets. Okay, those are hobbies. Okay, ask them about their hobbies. What do you like to do on the weekends? What do you like to do for fun? Well, what's what's interesting to you? Okay, find a common ground you guys can build rapport on, right? All of these questions are meant for you to build rapport with. Okay, you're gonna have some connection with maybe their name, right? Their name. What, what's that name? What what nationality is that name? Where's that from? That last name, what you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's a way for you to build on and build a relationship because when people are doing business, especially at network events, they're trying to look for somebody that can they can become now a power partner, right? Somebody they can 
generate business from or generate business through, uh, get referrals from, get referrals to, that kind of stuff. You, you always want to go to a networking event looking for power partners, looking for somebody who's going to become a resource for you or you can be a resource for them, right? So that's what you want to focus on, all right? Um, okay, so we're at that tennis rackets, right? So that was for hobbies. Ask them about their hobbies. What do you like to do for fun? What do you like to, what kind of sports do you like? That kind of thing. And then remember that little blinking light bulb. Okay, those are ideas. What kind of ideas do you got? What, what kind of plans do you have for your business? What, what, is there something new? I mean, you want to go over what ideas, what, what, what's their passion? What gets them ticking? What gets them to wake up each morning? What is it, right? And then for me, I like to add in one more thing is always ask them, what is the biggest challenge in your business right now? Okay, or in your life or whatever it is, because that's going to give you the ammo that you need to turn that person into a customer. Okay, because if you can find out what's the biggest thing holding them back from what they want in life, and you have a solution to that, man, you just became a new, you just found yourself a new client. Because that's what people want. They want people that will show them a way to do something that they don't know how to do. And they will pay money to do that, all right? And there's a lot of people out there, 7 billion people in this world, and literally you need 1% to become a billionaire. It's that simple. So if you want to be efficient in what you want to do, literally just find a way to provide value, be a resource for others. Don't go into a networking event or expo looking to sell. You want to provide value, all right? You want to provide a uniqueness because... When you provide that value, provide that uniqueness, they're going to ask to pay you. They're going to find a way to say, well, how much does it cost? How do we get started? What do I need to do? I get this all the time. I'm literally at network events all the time where they're like, oh, man, I was just thinking about doing this. Oh, man, I had a dream about this two days ago. I was just talking about this with somebody else. And I'm literally always going, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Because it does. You put something out there that you want ha to happen, it will happen according to the universe. You just got to make sure you believe it's going to happen because your mind is very, very powerful. Your mind can create. Your mind can design. Your mind can do whatever you want it to do. You put your mind to it, it gets done. If you are so passionate about something and you set, them, set your goal and you set your mindset to do it and you just stick on that path and no matter what comes along your way trying to deviate, you say no and you stick to it. It's going to happen. How many times do we hear this? Dude, plenty of people that have just changed the world because they decided to not take no for an answer. Why would you take no? It's either you're selling them on your idea or they're selling you on their idea. That's all it is. Every single conversation, every single time, everyone likes to think that they're not salespeople. Okay? How many times have you had a birthday party for your kid or for a friend of yours or for a family member and you had to make the phone call to invite somebody? You just sold somebody. You just sold somebody and coming to your birthday party. Hey, I know your time is valuable, but join, take that time and, and, and take it over here with me. You sold them on the idea of your event or your party or your get together to say, come join me. Every single person has invited somebody to a birthday party. So if you're telling me you don't know how to sell, you've sold before. Everybody's sold. You sell every day. They either sell you on why they want to do business with you or they sell you on why they don't want to do business with you. It's that simple. Everybody's sold. Whether or not you know it or not, it doesn't matter. It happens. So what you need to do is make sure you're the one on the other end, making sure you're controlling the conversation. You're controlling where it's going to go. Because if you let everybody control you, you just become a pawn in their chess game. Okay. But if you're the one running the floor, you can be the queen or king of the game. It's up to you. It's all in your mindset. It's all in what you want to do, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, we've got a nice uh, week here ahead of us. I'm super busy at what I'm doing. Uh, everything we're doing here is working, guys. So um, I want to make sure that you guys are getting as much help as you can. If you are not a Power Lead System member, I don't know how you got under this training, but <laughs> if you did, um, get on the Power Lead System. Whoever sent you this training wants you to see some value in what we have to offer here, guys. I'm not here to... Um, lead you guys down a path I haven't already gone. All right, I'm going to show you guys the tools that I use on a daily basis to be successful in what I do. I have no problem showing you guys all the shortcuts. I'm not greedy. Why not? There's plenty of business for everybody. Again, I need 1% of the world's population to become a billionaire. There's still 99% of it. Most people aren't going to get anywhere near 1%. So I have no problems teaching the world how to do what I do. 
by all means, take it and run with it. And that means our world is a better place because there's more people getting hired. There's more successful businesses out there. There's more people being efficient at learning how to market their business. There's 14 million people a year that start a home-based business. 14 million people a year. There's a lot of business out there, guys. There's a lot of people that are just waiting to hear what we have to offer. Take advantage of it. Get in front of them. Introduce your product. I, I remember there was um, a big guy in network marketing. He, he showed a formula. So simple. He's like, you know, he became a seven-figure earner. And he was like, um, he was asked, you know, I always get asked, how did I do it? It's not rocket science. He showed it to like 1,200 people. Out of those 1,200 people, you know, 100 took action. Out of those 100, you know, five people actually did anything with it. Out of those five people, two people made him a millionaire or something like that. It was ridiculous. It was just, it's a numbers game. It's always a numbers game, right? I tell my team every day, you got to have certain numbers every single day if you want to get certain results. If you don't have those numbers, don't expect those results. It's not going to be there. So you got to make sure those numbers are consistent every single day. You want to make sure that if you're going out there and you want to have a set amount at the end of that month, okay, the mathematical formula is out there for you. You have to make a certain amount of contacts per day to get a certain amount of people interested in your business, to get a certain amount of people to take action and get a certain amount of people that you can leverage to make sure that you're making six figures, seven figures, eight figures, wherever figures you want to make. It's not going to be making four figures, that's for sure. That's not something you want to do. Unless that's something you want to do weekly, then of course. But you want to make sure there's enough money out there for everybody. There's enough money out there that changes hands on a daily basis to make anybody a billionaire. Michael Jordan just joined the billionaires list. Did he do that through sitting around and waiting for it to happen? Did he do that by you know, letting other people uh, tell him where he's going to do and what he's going to do with his life? No. He did it by consistently being effective and being the best that he can be. That's the only way you're going to get there, guys. You can't get it through handouts. You can't get it through easy peasy, get rich quick schemes. You got to put in the hard work. You got to have sacrifice because the only way that you're going to see and go through the hardships is because you went through that sacrifice and, and it survived it and said, wow, if I could do that, I could do anything. Once you get to that point in life, no one's going to stop you. So I'll leave it at that. You guys have a great week. I will see you next week. Always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. This is Manny the Man Lopez signing off. You have a great week. Thank you. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.